We are tracking the very latest now from the 38 studio scandal. It's a story that really affects every Rhode Island taxpayer. Right now, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello is in New York City. He's there for an important meeting relating to the debate over whether to repay the debt over the failed deal. Mattiello will be at the offices of two major bond rating agencies. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson has more details live this morning in our studio. Good morning, Daniel and Patrick. Well, these meetings are what a spokesman says is, quote, part of their fact-finding mission, end quote, to see what the possible consequences of not paying back this loan could mean for the state of Rhode Island. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello and House Majority Leader John Simone will meet with Moody's as well as Standard & Poor's. Apparently, this happened, uh, this meeting has been planned in the works for a few weeks now before SNP's downgrade of the 38 Studios bonds last week. That put Rhode Island on negative credit watch with a warning the state's AA rating could be reduced even lower if lawmakers decide against paying bond investors. The House spokesman says the legislators will use the information from today's meeting along with input from House members and the Finance and Oversight Committee to decide their next course of action in regards to repayment. Meanwhile, the next payment due to invest investors is for $12.3 million. As soon as we get more details of this meeting, we will pass that information right along to you. Coming up, a Target 12 investigation into new details surrounding Kurt Schilling and 38 Studios. For now, live in the studio, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.